This is Temple OS. We're going to look at the flight simulator and the first person shooter. Control M gets to your menu. We're going to go down to the icon for the flight simulator. Okay, now I'm running a frame grabber which is saving the screen to disk uh, eight times a second. Um, the screen is updated 30 times a second for uh, the, the monitor. Anyway, uh, so this is a flight simulator. It's supposed to be an eagle diving for fish. Um, it's a little more exciting than a uh, 737. Anyway, uh, so it's I'm using six cores. Um, I uh, I wrote all the routines all the way down to the triangle fill. Um, I did that all by hand. It doesn't use a GPU. Um, now we're going to look at the uh, source code. Eagle Dive is what it's called. My uh, source code has graphics and it's 8-bit so we have uh, the Greek the Greek letters. Uh, you have this is the, the 256 characters. You have infinity and theta and phi. Anyway, so it has the Greek letters. Now, I don't do SMP, I do Master Slave Multi Core, um, which is better for real time. Um, what I want to do is I have eight cores, and I, or six cores, and I want to uh, assign a strip in the foreground or background to, to the different cores. Um, and I want to divide it in six pieces and give it to six cores. Um, SMP doesn't tell you how many cores and it doesn't let you divide it up um, uh, explicitly. Um, it uh, shifts them around between cores. If you have uh, five and then one, that's not the same as six at one time. As a matter of fact, I, I have an eight core processor, but I, I use VMware with six cores um, because VMware sometimes steals a core and seven and then one is not the same as eight at the same time when you're trying to do something real time. So uh, now we're going to look at the first person shooter. It has graphics and source. I made a mesh, e a mesh editor for 3D graphics. It's really tedious so I don't get, do anything too complicated. Um, you could do a lot more polygons. Um, so God said 640 by 480, 16 color. So I dither and I do a random dither um, to get shading. Uh, so this is this is the source code. We're going to run it F5. So uh, God said they're dancing. Um, it's little monsters. Here's a uh, a uh, potted plant. You can see you can see the shading. So this uses uh, this uses one core. Um, I could use uh, multi-core, but what do you do when uh, other people run it on their machines and they don't have that many cores? Um, you have to divide it up in a way that degrades. It's a, it's a real problem not knowing how many cores the target machine is going to have. I could specify two cores. I think all 64-bit machines have two cores, almost. There's some that don't, but um, that would be a much better situation. So, uh, so that's the flight simulator and the uh, and the first-person shooter.